they would never put this in a rich, wealthy neighborhood. Or a rich, wealthy, white neighborhood, or a rich, wealthy, black. They wouldn't put it in those neighborhoods. They put it in neighborhoods that are disadvantaged. They assume that there's no educated people here. And they, but they got that wrong because there are a bunch of educated people here that were crushing things. Hey, what's up everyone? Uh, this is Gabriel Jameson. Uh, I'm in Brownsville, my neighborhood, Brooklyn, New York. I'm here with a bunch of other credible organizers, activists, and we're all mobilizing today because we're supposed to be doing a direct action to a whole construction. You can adjust this, you know, for however you want it to be. Just use the carabiner. We're gonna go to Anna's place at eight, or a little bit after that, and then we're gonna deploy from there. Lucky, you're in the decoy team, right? Okay, I'm okay. My name's Anna, she, her pronouns. I'm gonna be helping with the media team. And Yay, he, him, uh, soft locking and press. My name is Patricia Ross. I'm here to shut everything down in the corner. Oh, yeah. This is the resistance. This is really fucking serious. It's construction still going on right now in Brownsville. I could, could do this to give warnings to you, even when I don't think they're about to arrest you, but I can give, say, hey, they give your first warning, that, you know, they might arrest you. We found out about the pipeline this summer. The pipeline was already in like two years ago, and no one ever knew about it. Oh, the constituents didn't know about it. Someone hit me up, and they was like, yo, do you know this is in your backyard? We gotta be back that frack attack. 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 So he finished that thing. He totally ripped up this morning. He was out there today? Yeah. Oh, did we miss our window? Fuck. What happened? It looks like either the workers might have gotten worried about our organizing. And so a typical tactic is, you know, on the night of a supposed direct action, they may not choose to do work. Or within the last few days, workers might have been completely done with night work. We're going to scope out in the morning to see if there's morning work being done. For those who can be a part of the direct action, if anything, they're going to reconvene and see what's the best bet um, in terms of next moves. We'll miss you tomorrow. Yes, I'm so sorry, Candy. Hey, yeah, you know, it's okay. Yeah. It's like literally, I still work a nine to five, so yeah, it's like yeah, I know. that's the only thing. You gotta yeah, so I appreciate it. My you. name is Glenn Goldstein, director of gas project management for National Grid. Over the past 12 years, approximately 70,000 new natural gas customers have connected to the national grid system. As a background, existing interstate gas pipelines that deliver gas to national grid are unable to meet peak winter demand on their own. Critical to our serving our customers is effective contingency planning which avoids the need to shut down gas service, leaving customers in the cold. In conclusion, we must continue to maintain our infrastructure and reliably serve our 1.9 million gas customers in downstate New York. Hello everyone, my name is Fabian Rogers. I'm one of the constituent advocates representing Senator Brisport in uh, Senate District 25. National Grid's proposal will contribute to higher rates of asthma, lung disease, cancer, emphysema, and other life-threatening illnesses in predominantly black and brown neighborhoods. We know they don't make profit from collecting monthly utility bills from ratepayers. They make money from building unnecessary infrastructure that forces us ratepayers to fork over $54 million over the next few years. You've seen the studies proving that New York City and New York State do not need any new fossil fuel infrastructure. You National Grid are sitting on a crumbling industry that you, the manipulator, the abuser, the gaslighter, pun intended, have created by systematically locking us, your quote, valued customers, into a suicidal reliance on fossil fuels. The game is up. You are not fooling me. You are not fooling any of us.
Oh, yeah, yeah. Born and raised in Brownsville. Grew up in Nehemiah. It's a collective of black Latino people and Caribbean people that came to rebuild the neighborhood. So they build something else. They build a legacy to the neighborhood. We're in the Nehemiah section of Brownsville. This is a community, a black and brown community that was built in 1981. It was affordable home ownership opportunity. And this is how a lot of black and brown people got their shot of home ownership. Three or four years ago, we solarized up to 3,000 homes in Browns and East New York. So all these Nehemiah houses, you see, if you walk by these houses, you'll see a lot of solar panels. A couple of these homeowners, even if that block. If you go through all of these blocks, you'll see a lot of them have solar panels. We need more of this and less pipelines, more solar, less pipelines, more trees, less pipelines, more parks, less pipelines. Because of that type of work, that led me to this. Good morning, Mayor de Blasio. My name is Gabriel Jameson. I'm a violence actor from Brownsville. I was actually on the line today to talk to you, but I didn't get through. Maybe because I'm from Brownsville. I don't know. But Mayor de Blasio, as you see in the background, this is National Grid building this frack gas pipeline. National Grid. If you wouldn't know about Brownsville, people in Brownsville died 11 years earlier. We live below poverty line. One third of the people in Brownsville live below the poverty line. We got the most highest asthma rate in Brownsville, 66%. And the air quality level that we're breathing now is toxic. It's negative 0.8. Would you want your child to breathe this air? No. And I know nobody does. And you say you're the champion of green. If you're the champion of green and environmental, you got to shut this down. And you got to do your job and pull the permits. That's why I need Mayor de Blasio. Because they thought no one would care. This is a dumping ground, so let's just dump it here. Let's sacrifice these people here. We're like, they're poor. Predatory companies, they like to prey on neighborhoods like this. As much as New York State talks about Green New Deal, green development, and things like that, black and brown folks are often left out of that conversation. And the sucky part is black and brown folks are mainly set up in places that were old industrial districts that weren't environmentally friendly. So, you know, as you can tell just by this train station, you know, these are kind of like the back streets that are kind of left un unattended to. Like dump fields of like old almost like metal recyclables, but it's like a, that's like a car dump back there and things like that. So we're dealing with this pipeline project. That's exactly where we're at, where Brownsville was the last uh, along the pipeline to be involved in the acknowledgement of what was going on in terms of the National Grid North Brooklyn pipeline. If 
you was here this summer, you was here in the summertime, if you look, like, you could see the gates of hell in Brownsville. Like, it was a big hole in the ground, deep hole, and it was a gray snake leading. I had elected officials and people tell me that they're not building a pipeline. What are they building, man, if they're not building a pipeline? If you see a gray snake in the ground, it's long too. What is that? That's not a pipeline. Just have you guys, there's radiation in here, they don't want to be... There's radiation in here? Yeah. Okay, so they, they're, they're telling us there's radiation in here, so we have to stand back. It could be dangerous. It could be dangerous. There's ra is that right? There's radiation in the ground. What about, right, what about the workers? Is it dangerous for the workers to be working if there's radiation in the ground? I, yeah, can we get some more information about the radiation? Sir? Officer? You said that somebody told you there was radiation? There was an officer who just told me there was radiation, is that right? They're taking down the caution tape, they're, they're taking down the radiation signs, so I guess the pipeline is safe now for the neighborhood. We did it. Yeah. <laughs> My brother Q just told me that there was actually a, 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 a pipeline leak today, mm. a couple of blocks oh. from here. Right down, two blocks that way. Two blocks that way. Point your fingers to me, two blocks that way. You gotta pay attention to people patterns. Patterns tell you everything about everyone. What they say, what they do, just pay attention to what they do. If you ever know about Nashu Grid, they have a history of safety violations. They was working on the Queens Reliable Project, they had 1,600 safety violations to complete that project. Today we did a direct action, a peaceful direct action, and as you can see, NYPD finest, they're here and they're protecting National Grid. You see children of Brownville, these are the kids of Brownville, and saying they don't want to be sacrificed. This is us as the resistance fighting, demanding that we will protect Brownville because Mayor de Blasio have not protected us. Our leaders have not protected us, so we will fucking protect us. So what you got to say, bro? I believe that we will win. I agree. What do you guys say, sister? <laughs> what do you got to say to the people? Fuck the border! We need your money! And what I got to say, Governor Cromo, you have to go. You got to know that this racist pipeline got to go. I knew some people was gonna get arrested. Leading up to, I didn't want to do it. <laughs> I just didn't know how to say no because I realized, like, yo, you're black. <laughs> this is not gonna work out your favor. Um, They're down underneath. Here. They're down underneath yeah. all the way. Three of us, three or four of us, we all got locked up together, and we put our bodies on the line to stop the pipeline in New York City. Hi, ma'am. My name is Gabriel. They're having a free event at the Howard Community Center. It's a mutual aid event. They're giving out free food, free clothes at the Howard Community Center right up the block, right there. Okay. Welcome. This pipeline that's being installed basically in all of our backyards within Brownsville is another example of environmental racism. A lot of times when you think about the respiratory issues. Now we're at a point where the best action to do from here moving on forward is awareness work. With your lungs. We've been doing a lot of organizing work to shed light on what's going on on this pipeline. I just want it to be known that communities like this 
can be activated, should be activated, and should be involved. We have to change the narrative to what Browns look like. It cannot be the example of poverty in prison. Like, that we can't be famous for that. We have to be famous for something else. What brings me to the fight is my niece. That's what brings me to the fight. I want my niece to grow up in an environment where it's more uh, inclusive for her, uh, it's healthier for her, uh, and it's, it's, it's good for the well-being of her and her friends or whoever she meet down the line. The fight is not over. We got to keep fighting. And it doesn't stop with this pipeline. You know, it's a lot more stuff that we got to get done. And it, it has to be uh, strategized. It has to be plotted, strategized, and executed. Uh, but it takes a team. I can truly tell you that. It takes everyone. Lori, Lori. I know, I know, I know. You're going to get some food. <laughs>